Hi everyone, my name is Maria and I'm a PhD student in the computer vision group at the Technical University of Munich in Germany. On behalf of my co-authors, I'm happy to present to you our work, Direct Tracker, 3D multi-object tracking using direct image alignment and photometric button adjustment. Multi-object tracking, as the name suggests, refers to the task of assigning temporarily consistent IDs to the objects of interest. The majority of existing 3D trackers follow the tracking by detection paradigm and rely on the output from the 3D detectors to perform object tracking. On this slide, we demonstrate an example of tracking car objects, which is affected by false negative, false positive detections an incorrect association due to localization inaccuracy. At the same time, the field of visual slam has seen a rapid development of robust and powerful systems. As a motivation for our work, we would like to mention a state-of-the-art camera tracking direct sparse odometry or DSO, which jointly localizes a moving camera and reconstructs a precise map of the environment. Our work is intended to leverage building blocks that have been successfully utilized for accurate camera localization in a direct setting for the task of multi-object tracking in an outdoor scenario. Due to sparse 3D reconstruction, we additionally localize the object relative to the camera coordinate system and estimate its type bounding box. To this end, we present Direct Tracker, an easy but effective framework for online multi object detection and tracking. In this slide, we demonstrate the proposed pipeline for a single object. Given an RGBD input, along with the object segmentation masks, we directly track the object in 3D by warping them using direct image alignment and associate a consistent object ID using Hungarian algorithm. The trajectory management orchestrates the life death trajectory cycle and maintains the keyframe data, which is utilized by both direct alignment and object-based window bundle adjustment components. Our 3D object detector uses only DA model detections and sparse object reconstruction in a canonical keyframe to localize the object with respect to the camera coordinate system. This way, our method jointly achieves 3D detection and tracking using 2D information only. In the following slides, I will describe each component in detail. Given an RGBD image, and object masks in the current frame, we firstly estimate six degrees of freedom relative transformation for every object with respect to the reference frame using direct image alignment in a coarse to fine fashion, which essentially minimizes the photometric error between the original and warped object regions on an image pyramid. This way, we directly impose a geometric prior of a rigid body motion, which as opposed to pure appearance-based methods, bounds the space of feasible solutions for frame-to-frame -frame object tracking. On the other hand, we enforce short-term photometric consistency, which allows us to prune motion models that are not visually concurring. Given segmentation masks from the reference image, we can then assign their IDs to the masks in the current frame using the conventional Hungarian algorithm. Here, here we also manage creation and termination of object trajectories in case of unmatched masks. If an object is successfully tracked over several frames, we refine its sparse reconstruction and poses by performing a joint optimization over pixel intensities between image patches, also known as photometric bundle adjustment. Object poses are defined in a common local coordinate frame and initialized by concatenating relative transformations estimated in the previous stage of direct image alignment. We also optimize 3D points 
that constitute the object of interest, since depth maps commonly estimated in an outdoor setting by an off-the-shelf depth network are not perfect and may contain outliers. For 3D object detection, we firstly project 3D points from bundle adjustment onto the ground plane and compute a 2D occupancy map. This allows us to regress an initial 2D object footprint, which we further leave to 3D space. Secondly, we refine the 3D bounding box by integrating multi-view 2D and 3D constraints. In particular, we enforce that projection of the 3D bounding box is consistent with 2D detections and all points are inside the 3D bounding box. We optionally regularize the prediction according to the previous estimate as well. As we estimate the transformation from camera to the canonical local coordinate frame for every keyframe, we've used the estimates to achieve a globally and locally smooth trajectory. We now proceed to evaluation results. To quantitatively assess the performance of our method, the KT tracking benchmark is selected. We further obtain 2D detections, segmentation masks, and stereo-based depth maps from the off-the-shelf networks. We adopt the latest protocol standards from the benchmark and evaluate 3D mode on the HOTA metric. In this work, we advocate usage of the 3D generalized IAU rather than the conventional 3D IAU distance for the assessment of stereo-based trackers. We demonstrate an example on the slide where the measures perform equally in case of non-zero intersection and differently otherwise, with IOU always evaluating to zero. We observe a similar situation in a realistic scenario when stereo-based depth is inaccurate for faraway objects and would bias the estimated proposal in green. While IOU-based association would penalize the tracker and consider the detection as a false positive and a false negative, GIOU measure would rightly point out a badly localized true positive. In this slide, we demonstrate the 3D mode performance accord across different baselines. For the evaluation, we consider two stereo-based detectors, such as DSGN and stereo RCNN, together with frustum point nets, which work on point cloud data of any origin. 3D detections are then provided to the tracking method, namely AB3D mode. As it can be seen, our approach outperforms other methods on the HOTA metric with GIAU similarity measure and its stick composites, namely the detection and association accuracy. On the other hand, IOU-based evaluation strongly penalizes biased non-zero overlap in detections and thus the performance is significantly lower across the stereo, all stereo trackers. We also demonstrate the results of 2D tracking. Our proposed method is competitive against other online trackers based on the HOTA metric and comparable to the offline modes fusion, which aggregates information from all frames. Please note that our method is online and processes only information available up to the current time instant. To summarize, we presented Direct Tracker an online 3D mod framework that utilizes direct image alignment and photometric bundle adjustment for the task of 3D object detection and tracking. Our approach is simple yet effective, which has shown competitive performance against other learning baselines. We hope that our method has revealed the power of direct approaches and that it will promote research in the same direction. Thank you for your attention.